Dieu. Bonsoir. Vous allez bien Ah, oh, qu'est-ce qu'il ne me ferait pas faire, ça, moi <rire> C'est vrai, moi, je me disais, tiens, je, je vais en profiter pour écouter d'autres parler de leur passion et je vais absorber tout ça. Et qu'est-ce qu'il me dit, Sam Il faudrait dire quelque chose quand même. <rire> Mais euh, je dois vous dire à quel point c'est un bonheur d'être ici avec vous à Vancouver. Cette ville qui a de l'esprit, qui a de l'énergie, que j'aime beaucoup. À la fois qui puise sa force dans les montagnes côtières et de l'océan aussi, si lumineux. Why go on in French? <rires> C'est possible. <rires> Je vais vous dire. C'est une langue que j'aime tellement. Le français. Que j'aime faire entendre sa musique. And the reason I do this is because I want really to let the Frenchness in you be. <laughs> it's there, it's in you. And we have so much to share, so many words, fantastic words to share that we use every day with, without realizing that we use exactly the same words. Except that pronunciation is a little bit different. Hein? La prononciation est un peu différente. <laughs> ah, so, What a pleasure. First of all, I want to thank uh, Sam and Lynn, my good friends. And I do remember this luminous time that we spent together at La Citadelle by the St. Lawrence River. And I think, you know, water is very important. You live here by the water and it's, it's for your mental health. It's crucial because water helps you really calm down and breathe again and know that, you know, when you look at the sea and you see, oh, it's different humors, right? On dit ça, des humeurs? Oui? Non? OK. Um, comment est-ce qu'on dirait? Not just movement, but, you know, moods! C'est ça! Oui, voilà, moods. It, it, it helps you actually uh, uh, feel better about your own moods. Anger, joy, peace, it's all there. And the water is there to remind you that, you know, we can always, life can always triumph over difficult times and, and, and ordeals. And all you need is to, to be, to find your inner strength and your creative inner strength. I am an, an, an islander. I was born in an island in, yes, and, and that's probably why I have this connection to water and the horizon. I find uh, it's really important to be able to look beyond things. And the beauty of this space that we're sharing here tonight, this public salon is about that is how we can gather our thoughts, minds, ideas, go back to the power of words, and spend this moment together sharing with others their passion and being able to relate to what they are saying, what they are trying to convey to us. And it's absolutely wonderful. Don't you think that we need this space as something essential like oxygen? I believe so, don't you? It is such a pleasure to be able to listen to people who are provocative, who remind us of the nuances, you know, in life. It's not just black, white, it's... I, there's something that I can't stand. It's when I see people with the absolute truth, so rigid. Life is not about this. Life is about doubts at time, um, looking for other options, always looking for solutions, 
and daring sometimes, yes, to say, I don't know, but I'm willing really to look for the answers. This is so essential. So I've heard wonderful ideas shared with us, and there were these crucial words like perspectives, vision, innovation, creativity, smart minds, compassion, awareness, and I kept writing them down, community, inclusion, making our civil society better, talent, the arts, social responsibility, leadership, change makers, spirit, meaning, create meaning, finding the universal values that can bring us together towards building that Pax Metropolitana. And you know what? It made me think of all these young people that I love in our country, that I had the amazing time with during my journey as Governor General as I crisscrossed Canada. I wanted to see where the creative mind of our youth is and what they are actually doing to bring about change around them. And so during those five years, everywhere I went, I took the time really to, to listen to them, not just to hear them, but to listen to them, validating their actions. A lot of young people who are actually confronted with, at times, troubling situations, dealing with disturbing challenges, but who have this courage of trying to emerge from those situations, trying to speak to us about them, using the arts as tools to do so in every artistic dis discipline, and making sure that we are aware making sure that we realize that they are part of the solutions, that they are not just our future, but it's here and now that we need to listen to them and to recognize their actions. And they're doing this without being asked. And I have the utmost respect for them, and I love them, and I learn from them. And I know that even yesterday, before participating in that Unique Lives um, series, we went to, and we sat down with some of them doing this amazing work in Vancouver and doing it with love and passion and sometimes finding in the arts a way also of, of for example, in writing and putting some of their fears and difficulties on a sheet of paper and saying, it can stay there and my life has, I have to go on with my life. And again, you know, I listened to some of them sharing their pains with me, but at the same time resisting and, and calling us for, for uh, I think, ad addressing you know, the importance of us to remain vigilant and to try hard to find solutions to the world today so we can come together and live together in better ways. And I was so impressed to see how articulate they are, how eloquent they are when they speak about it. So I think that at the end of my tenure, when all these young people that I had worked with, organizing youth forums, youth, youth dialogues across the country, when they said to me, you know, it has to continue. Um, you will build a legacy. Why don't you continue working with us so we can enlarge our horizon, broaden it, and have like a national space where we could come together just to bring our practices together, exchange on our experiences, what works, what doesn't work, and, and make sure that we can be heard. So I said yes. So the Mika Jean Foundation is about this. It's about really accompanying them, 
supporting their endeavors, creating bursaries so, so, so that we can help them uh, build more sustainability to their actions, making sure that Canadians realize that we have this vibrant and vivid force, creative force in our country, and that it needs to be considered and that we see it as part of our richness. And I hope that you will respond to this and that you will start looking around you and paying attention to all this work that these young people are doing. Um, when they say things like, arts can heal, arts can save you life, I take it seriously because they know exactly what they're talking about. And they're being socially so innovative, so innovative that I think it is worth really integrating what they have to offer. So all this to say that as much as the work that I do in Haiti as UNESCO Special Envoy, and I like that organization because it's about education, science, culture. It's a place where I find a lot of brilliant minds trying to actually on the long term support a lot of countries who are redefining themselves, who are trying to really use all their richness, cultural richness, all their brilliant minds in investing in education uh, to... How uh, do you say that? <laughs> and in my country of birth, Haiti, people are trying to do that every day. I hear some comments, some people say, well, there's nothing happening in Haiti, it's all stalled. No, let me tell you, it's a country in motion, where you have these creative minds going on all the time, and a country who wants to move out of total dependency on international aid, even if you know international aid, humanitarian aid is about the heart and wanting to make a difference to support other peoples in the world, we have to understand that the best that can happen also for a country is for it to build its economy, to be autonomous, to invest in its capacities, to build the rule of law, good governance, and also to make sure that it can walk by itself, not isolated, but strong. And alive. So I feel very blessed because with your support, I can continue to serve my country, Canada, which is a land of such beauty. And the beauty is also in its peoples. And I can bring my contribution in the best of my capacities to my native land. And I know that you are always there, watching and making sure that the best can happen. Donc, J'estime que cette soirée a été formidable parce que j'ai pu être dans la salle avec vous et continuer à nourrir mon espoir de toutes ces idées que j'ai entendues et aussi de toute l'attention que vous avez dans la salle, comme moi, portée à ces idées exprimées. So I think as we are, we are also in the audience listening to these brilliant minds, these creative minds who came at this podium to share their ideas and thoughts with us, we were also, by doing this, taking action. We were also participating in that spirit. So it was a blessing to be here with you this evening. And all my love to you. Merci beaucoup.